Hey guys, I'm Evan from Bullseye Bishop. Today I just wanted to talk to you guys about the versatility of the AR-15 lower that I know you guys bought a ton of them last year at the end of the year because I know I got a couple too as well. Uh, coming to you today at Campbell, California where my shop is located. Uh, get all the information on our website. Uh, but today I just want to go over a few uppers that we have uh, in stock. We have about 17 ready for you to go. You literally just take your takedown pins, slap these guys on and you're ready to go. Some of them do require extra mags, uh, so I will go over that right now. So the first thing is you can put a dedicated 22 upper on your lower. Good thing about this, once you put this on your lower, you're now uh, not having an assault rifle because it's not considered that because it is a rim fire, not center fire. So you can only do that with dedicated 22 uppers, not with your uh, 22 insert. Uh, but you will have to use the 22 mags to go in here. Uh, so we do have those as well. So this is from CMMG. Uh, we do have a nine millimeter, as you can see, nine millimeter bullet, nine millimeter uh, upper. You will have to either use a magazine, um, adapter to fit your Glock mags or Colt mags, whatever you want to use, or you need to get a dedicated 9mm lower. They're hard to find, but we do have them in 80 percenters if you'd like. Uh, and then as well, we have a 5.56, which most commonly is used, 5.56223. Uh, this one, we just got the Punisher edition. It's pretty badass. Punisher on both sides, dust cover, bolt, and even the charger handle. So for those that want to punish some people, Punch. And then we got the good old 300 Blackout. Uh, nothing's too special about it. I think a lot of people hyped up the name. The rounds are very expensive. Uh, it is a subsonic uh, ammunition, but it does do well for hunting, that type of stuff, but it's just a little pricey on the ammo. But this one's also from CMMG. The one that I would suggest for longer distances, great ballistic, is a 6.5 Grindle. So this is the parent case of the 7.62. Uh, which is the AK round 7.62 by 39 millimeter. It's necked down to fit a more aerodynamic, more ballistic bullet. Uh, the ballistics on the 6.5 griddle is uh, actually better than a 308. Um, that's pretty amazing for a lot of people. People want to go, hey, I want to reach out and touch somebody. That's what I was here. Uh, you can go with the 308 if you want. 6.5 griddle is going to be lighter, cheaper on ammo. Um, and very easy and accurate to shoot. So for me, that's a winner in my book. I go with that all day. And then we have the 7.62 by 39 millimeter, which is the AK round. Some people call it the AR-47. I've uh, got that and this uh, distressed American flag look over here. And then if you really want to get crazy, you can go with the 458 SOCOM. This bad boy is known to crack engine blocks, crack your shoulder, uh, collarbone, whatever. Uh, but this is a very heavy hitting round. The next step up would be the 50 Beowulf. I don't have any of those in stock, but we do usually stock them when they are available. Uh, but all these will just go onto your AR-15 lower with literally a snap. So you got your two takedown pins, drop any of your uppers on top, slap them in, you're good to go. Uh, the ones that you're going to need a different mag for is your 22, your 9mm, uh, your 6.5 Grindle, your 7.62 by 39mm and your 458, you'll need another uh, magazine to actually work well with it. Um, but every other caliber, 556, 300 blackout, will work in the same magazine. So you do have some options. Uh, feel free to give us a call, check us out online, come into the shop. We'll be more than happy to help you guys. Take care. Thanks a lot. But wait, there's more! For you boys and squirrels that want to get fucking crazy, or really crazy, this is what we call a can cannon. Uh, you can shoot any type of beverage. So I chose the silver bullet. All you do is drop that mother trucker in there, put in your lower with a blank. The blank actually blasts, the, all the gas blasts around, shoots this thing out pretty damn far. Check it out. We like to use silver bullets for all those werewolves out there. I don't know if I'm going to hit anything, but we'll see what happens. Should I just shoot at that black thing right there? That's kind of close. Well, that, the red one? Up to you. Bombs away. Oh, that one broke before it even came out. All right, those silver bullets didn't have a good seal, so we'll try this. Ooh. Spray paint. Yeah, I would aim higher up on the back. All right, if you don't mind.
Oh, oh, yeah, that worked a little better, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, that kept tearing out of there. Whoa, fuck! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that is too good. Oh. <laughs> that was fucking great. That went way the hell up there. <laughs> that was fun. Oh.